Today, over 2 million people in the United States alone are affected by hoarding disorder. Hoarding is a mental disorder that is typically caused by a loss, trauma, or life-changing event. My name is Shay, I'm a certified professional organizer, and this is Bahar. We are the co-founders of Mission to Organize. In our job as organizers, we have been in many hoarding situations with people who need our help. These experiences have helped us to learn firsthand what hoarding is and how we can make it better. If you are hoarding or your loved one is affected by a hoarding situation, you might want to start with these few tips to make a hoarding situation better. First things first, educate yourself about hoarding. There are many resources available online, so read everything that you can get your hands on. Learn the definition of hoarding, the causes of hoarding, and the levels of hoarding. Know the questions to ask yourself. Is this a life-threatening situation that needs to be dealt with as soon as possible, or is it just in the beginning stages? The more you educate yourself, the better equipped you'll be to handle the situation. You're here watching this video, and that's a good start. The most important thing you need to know, and you will learn by educating yourself regarding a hoarding situation, is to be compassionate. You need to approach the situation with care. At the beginning of 90s, when people just became aware of the hoarding condition, it was looked upon with judgment and disgust. But today, we know better. Hoarding is a disorder and nothing to be ashamed of. And we should deal with it like we would do with any other disorder, with care and compassion. Talk to the person who is hoarding and explain to them how they are harming themselves and others. Tell them and remind them that they deserve better and they're worth more than their things. And remember to do it all very slowly with as much compassion, love, understanding, and care as you can. If you've ever dealt with a hoarding situation, you understand that it's not as easy as grabbing some garbage bags and throwing things inside. First, the person who is hoarding must understand the situation they're in and be ready for change. Do not simply go in and throw out all of their items. Work at a pace that is comfortable for them. Doing otherwise could be counterproductive. Once they're ready, contact professional help from a therapist or a psychologist. There are always issues behind hoarding and if those are not dealt with properly in advance, the person can go right back to hoarding again. Once you're ready for a cleanup, contact professional organizers. Hoarding situations can be very overwhelming to deal with, but organizers are up for the challenge. If money is an issue, there are many resources out there like support groups and organizations that specifically help and assist hoarders. At the end, the best advice that we can give you is to be patient. The hoarding did not happen overnight and it's not about to go away overnight. It's a constant process of hard work mentally and physically. You need to understand that what much seems like a junk to you is of a great value to a hoarder. Gain trust by respecting the person's feelings and understanding the situation that they're in. Hoarding is a long battle. Always be encouraging and celebrate even the smallest of victories. If you'd like more information on this topic and other organizing tips, Subscribe to our YouTube channel and join us on the conversation on our blog and social media. We'll see you next time. Bye!